Hello there and welcome. Today we will be going over how to take footage that you filmed on your camera and P2 cards and then transfer them to your computer and then export them on Premiere. And then so to capture your HPX 170 with just using a typical USB, USB cord. Like right here, USB 2.0. You want to go into your camera settings. Press the menu button. Oops. And go all the way down to other functions. Go to PC mode, and make sure it's on USB device. And maybe make sure these all look like this. 100, whoa, a thousand hours. Hit the big layer. So once you get that all set up, go down here, hit that little button, and you can enjoy your clip menu. Now hold that button down. Well, what's happening? Don't know yet. Ah, it says USB disconnect. Cool. And then going to put that in. This is Corey. And now this cord's in here. Oh look, now it says connect. What is this? So now on your computer you should have two of these no name P2 files. So now two files of no name things should pop up. These are your P2 cards. Open it up. Copy. The content. Oh my god, my cat sucks. Corey, stop! Get away! And things. So, copy and paste contents into your P2 card file, your external file. You can just make it by doing this, a new folder, and then name it whatever. Whatever. This one's going in this P2 card 3. See, it's uh, loading. And then I'll do the same for this one. And now you just wait. Okay, so once all those files have finished importing into your little files, um, you can just eject these. Blah, blah, blah. And then just unplug it. Shut that little guy and then flip her off. And put it away. So now that your files have been properly copied and pasted into these things, to your little external files, you just go down to your Premiere, open it up, go to desktop, see your cards, like, oh wow, there's a bunch of clips in here, blah, blah, blah. And you just drag it over. La la da, la la dee, la la dee, la la dum, put plays. And then, control M. So now when it's time to export your clip, and you want it to be the rawest it can be coming out from the P2 card, and whatever, export under the format QuickTime. There's a few other ones whole list, and then preset name, whatever you wanted to call it. Look at what the output is, and what the input you're gonna get, blah blah blah. But yeah, go to your video code scenes, where it matters most, I think. And choose Apple ProRes 422HQ. There's also a bunch of other ones that would match whatever you're looking for. But yeah, for, for a large, for a large copy, of your clip with your audio and your video, get these two. 
use use maximum render quality if you'd like. Um, this is what I was told it works best. And then and name that shit. And then Clippy, it's gonna come out as an MOV file. And then I will do export. And it usually doesn't take long at all. This clip is about 31 seconds. It's probably gonna take like a minute to fully encode and export. So another option if you wanted to export your raw clip into a smaller file size, you can go to format, do H264, keep it at match, like match source, high bit rate, that's good for like fast motion little skate clips. I have this preset, which is basically that, plus use max or maximum render quality. But yeah, it's gonna come out to be 38 megabytes. Which is uh, pretty small. So I mentioned how exporting an H.264, you could definitely get a smaller file size. I think it's at 30 something megabytes. This is the MOV file, the raw file, that's full quality, and full blah blah blah, and render settings. It's about 748 megabytes, so almost a gigabyte. And yeah, it's kind of big, it's fatty. So if you're trying to save space, maybe not. I mean, I don't think you really lose that much quality on H.264, but yeah, for the MOV file, that's fatty and raw. You want QuickTime Apple Forest for 2.2 HQ.